Hello, my name is Luis Ayas. I am a neurologist fellowship trained in movement disorders, currently located in Knoxville, Tennessee. Today, we are going to discuss about this common question that I sometimes get in the clinic. Patients ask, or even family member, caregivers ask, doctor, what do you mean with Parkinsonism? Do you mean Parkinson's disease? Sometimes we create confusion uh, in patients. That's why it's very important to answer this question correctly. So when I say Parkinsonism, I mean a slow movement plus either a stiffness or resting tremor. That's the definition of Parkinsonism. But that doesn't mean that you have Parkinson's disease. When the doctor is telling you that you have Parkinsonism in a set of Parkinson disease, they, they, they don't mention Parkinson's disease, they mention Parkinsonism. Um, it's because you still do not have criteria for Parkinson's disease, or at least not full criteria for Parkinson's disease. And maybe because you have uh, um, some other uh, features suggesting atypical Parkinsonism or, or Parkinson plus syndrome, such as multiple system atrophy, PSP, dementia or Lewy body or cortical vessel degeneration, or maybe because you are taking medication that block dopamine, um, and then you will have Parkinsonism and patients with drug-induced Parkinsonism or medication that cause Parkinsonism, Parkinsonism, they look the same as Parkinson's disease. There is no way uh, that I can differentiate clinically uh, between a patient with what we call primary Parkinsonism, like Parkinson's disease and drug-induced Parkinsonism. They look the same. Um, there are other ways uh, to, to help us to make the diagnosis. In those cases, sometimes we need to uh, proceed with that DASCAN. Uh, DASCAN is a nuclear medicine test um, that sometimes we use in those cases. When, especially when we cannot stop the medication, uh, uh, medication that sometimes is used for depression or sometimes for schizophrenia, uh, other psychiatric condition. So, and we want to know if this medication is causing um, Parkinsonism or you have primary Parkinsonism uh, like Parkinson's disease. So sometimes also because Parkinsonism is not the main characteristic, it's not the main feature like in this group here. I didn't um, include functional Parkinsonism, but actually should be in the differential diagnosis, even though that is extremely rare to have a functional Parkinsonism, but it's possible. Um, we think uh, when we say functional, uh, we mean um, that your brain is not functioning well. It's not a good connection. Uh, between neurons. It's like having a problem with, with the software is and a good hardware. Uh, think about your brain as a computer. When you have functional neurological problems, uh, in, the, in this case, I'm talking about Parkinsonism, is like having problem with the software and the hardware is okay. Uh, we used to call uh, functional mm, Parkinsonism, psychogenic Parkinsonism. I don't use this term anymore. Let me tell you that some cases are very difficult, very difficult to make the diagnosis. If you think that we as a providers are good making the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, think again, because the data is not supporting that, okay? Let me give you an example. These two studies, are published in 2000, this one on the left in 2016 and the other one in 2014. And the data is prior before the relatively recent uh, diagnostic criteria for Parkinson's disease uh, published by the Movement Disorder Society uh, back in 2015. So probably we are uh, better, but this is, these two studies showing that, for example, this one on the left showing that 
we are correct 80% of the time when we make diagnosis, with clinical diagnosis of Parkinson's disease compared with the, with the definitive diagnosis, which is made by autopsy, okay? So movement disorder expert, I mean, neurologist, fellowship trained in movement disorder, we are a little bit better, um, but still around 80%, okay? So this other study uh, from 2014, very interestingly show that during the first five years of symptoms onset, you are right approximately 50%. It's like flipping a coin. After five years, things get better in terms of the diagnosis um, because we are correct almost 90% after five years. The bottom line is Parkinson disease is not the same as Parkinsonism. If you have Parkinsonism, most likely you have Parkinson's disease because it's the most common cause of Parkinsonism, approximately 75% of the cases. But remember, there are other causes. You need to discuss with your doctor. And sometimes you need to ask a primary care provider to refer you to a movement disorder fellowship trained neurologist. Thank you very much. See you soon.